Hey there, it's Alicia at NewVAAdvice.com and I am back with another client getting tip for you and your virtual assistant business. Today I want to talk about your list. So you hear that term a lot, create a list, list building, the money's in your list. What does that really mean? Well, let's break it down simply. A list is basically people who have voluntary, voluntarily signed up with their name and email address, probably on your website in an opt-in box. Um, they've signed up to learn more information about you and your business and what you do. So they're saying they want to hear from you and they're giving you their email address so that you can reach them by email to do so. Um, so why would they want to sign up? Well, like I said, um, they want to learn more about you and what you do, but what entices them to put their name in that box and give you their information? Well, one of the biggest tips that I can give you on that part is that I recommend offering some type of freebie to them, whether it be a small report or a checklist or a short video or audio that will help them small, solve one small, simple pain point that they deal with in their business. So it doesn't have to be a big elaborate thing and you're writing a whole ebook or anything like that. Um, something simple that you can provide that will solve one small problem and one small pain point that they deal with. That's going to get them interested enough to give you their email address and want to learn more about you and what you do. So you get them to sign up through your opt-in box and then what? What do you write to them? Well, if you blog regularly, you send them your blog posts. You could write a regular newsletter. What do you put in the newsletter? Well, again, if you blog, you mention your latest post. You could mention industry news for their industry or give them tips and advice that's going to help them solve some of their pain points. Maybe those pain points are to save time, save money, increase their reach with clients, whatever that might be. The newsletter doesn't have to be something really long. It can be one to two main pieces. It doesn't have to be a big elaborate thing. And you don't have to do it daily. Pick a schedule though that works best for you that you can really commit to. That's the most important part. So if you tell them that they're going to hear from you weekly, make sure that you set aside some time in your schedule to either write a blog post that you share with them weekly or create a small newsletter of information that's going to really benefit them that you can send out weekly. Whatever it might be that works for you. So what does this whole thing do for you then? Why is it so important and why do people say that the money is in the list? Well. It's going to keep you top of mind when they need someone for, their, for those particular services that you provide. And also, it places you as an expert for providing this awesome information to them. So that's your client getting tip for today. If you found this valuable and you'd like to learn more about this tips or others like it to bring more business into your virtual assistant business, then I would love for you to join me for the upcoming Get New Clients Challenge. This is a 21-day online challenge starting very soon that you can do from home in your PJs. But you get to do this with me online and other virtual assistants who want to build their businesses too. So let's do this together and support each other. You can find out more about it uh, through the website link you see in this video or you can click the link right below it. Have a great day.